Okay, so you want to create a group email in Gmail. Your first step is to go to the contacts view. So I'm gonna click on this little contacts button and then I'm going to expand the view. So I've got three contacts. I'm initially going to include two of these contacts in my group email. So what I do is I go down to this labels option, click on this little plus button to create a label and I'm gonna call this trainers and then I click on save. So I want to include Babs and Ben in this group email. So what I do is I tick both of their names and then I go up to this button, manage labels. And then I select the label that I want to assign to these names. And then I click on apply. So you can see down here that I've got two contacts associated with this label. If I select the label, it shows the two contacts. So if I go back to my contacts and say I wanted to include Bob in this group email, what I'd do is I'd select Bob, then I'd go back up to this Manage Labels button and I'd select the label that I want to associate with the Bob contact. Click on Apply. And so now you can see that there are three contacts associated with the trainer's label. If I click on this label, you can see now that all three contacts are associated with that label. So how do I use that label as a group email? Well, now I'm back in my inbox and I'm gonna to go to Compose. And all I need to do is type that label name into the two box. And you can see that it's associating that label with those three members. So if I select that label, I get Babs, Ben and Bob as my recipients. Now at the moment, all three email addresses are visible to all recipients. Now that's okay if all the recipients are within the same company, but it's not appropriate otherwise. So what you should really do is use this BCC option, blind carbon copy. And if I type the label in here, what that will mean is that the email addresses are now private. They won't be displayed to other recipients. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.